Are you hoping to write a book that sparks a movement? Here are five things writers need to know if they want to write a book that sparks a movement. I am Morgan Gis McDonald, founder, CEO of Paper Raven Books and author of Start Writing Your Book Today. And here are your five things. Number one, your book does not have to be entirely unique in order to spark a movement. Yes, people want to hear your stories, your unique take, your unique angles, and your book is going to speak to a topic that people already love to read books on. Maybe you're like me, I buy 50 books a year on business and philosophy, and your job as the author is to get your book in front of people who already love to read about this topic. Once they're inside your book, now they can get to know your unique stories, philosophy, take, angle. You're trying to catch the eye of someone who already reads books like this so that you can change their hearts and minds and lives inside of your book. Thing number two, your book does not have to be long in order to be powerful. My book is about 25,000 words, 150 pages. People constantly come back to me and say, thank you, Morgan, for writing a short book. I read it in a sitting or two. And then I started writing my book and I say, perfect goal achieved. So think about what do you really want to do with your book? And remember, short can be powerful. Thing number three, if you want to write a book that sparks a movement, you want to be thinking, what is my reader going to get out of this book? Yes, they want to hear your stories and your ideas and they want to know it's relevant to their lives. So I want you to think, Am I writing a book that I want to write or am I writing what people want to read? If it's nonfiction, your stories and your ideas should be helping people to better understand the world around them or their lives. And if it's memoir or fiction, your stories and ideas should be capturing people's imaginations, getting them on the edge of their seat, bringing them through a reading experience that they're going to remember. You can start with a messy first draft, that's fine. And when you come back to revise that messy first draft, here's the question I want you to ask. What is my reader going to get out of this? Thing number four, if you are writing a book that is going to start a movement, you'll want to stay in touch with your readers. So whether your reader finds your book at Barnes & Noble or a library or a bookstore or Amazon, you're going to want to know who is buying your book and how to stay in touch with them. The easiest way to do that is to make sure that your book has extra bonus resources or materials and that you are linking or putting a QR code to a page where someone can provide their email address in order to get those bonus resources. Once they provide their email address, now you can stay in touch with them and help them on their journey. When I first launched my book, I had fewer than 100 folks on an email list, most of them family and friends and colleagues. And once I put my book out there with the bonus resources, I started growing my list by hundreds and hundreds every single month. I now have well over 70,000 folks on an email list. Sure, I have additional list building mechanisms, and my book is still one of my main list building mechanisms. So you can stay in touch with your readers and encourage them on their journey and contributing to this movement that you are starting. And thing number five is that, yes, a book is an effective way to start a powerful movement, and yet it is insufficient to fully fan the flames of that movement. Remember, a movement needs people, people who have read your book, been changed by your book, spread the word of your book to other people. And it is those people who are truly going to change the world. And your book does not have its own hands and feet. You, the author, are the hands and feet of your book. It is your responsibility to get your book in front of as many people as possible so that they can be changed by your book and you can together start that movement, fan the flames of that movement, and make true impact and change in this world. And if that sounds daunting, the question that I would leave you with is, how badly do you want it? I hope that's helpful for you in writing a book that sparks a movement, changes the world. Thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.